Hello, everybody. My name is Gearlocked, a snowflake Iron Man that must progress through different tiers of weapon and armor pieces until I collect every item inside of that tier. Only then can I progress to the next tier of more powerful gear. Join me on this journey as I take on increasingly difficult challenges with combinations of gear you've never seen before. Witness as I advance my account in ways only the maddest of men can do. Now, let's take a look at what you missed last episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. As a quick recap of last episode, we did some quests. I told you about my Biscoff escapades and we got us one salty blade. But in today's episode, it's all about that slayer, 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 baby. Let's get into it. All right, what are we going to get from this brimstone chest? Some dragon arrow tips and a rune plate body. But Konar, what's our next task? All right, I'll do 14 black dragons. And here we go on our Slayer adventure. Collection log slot completed. We got it. We finally got a shield left half. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, we can actually do the already achievement diary thingy. Oh, it's beautiful. Ring of wealth, I knew you'd pay off one of these days. Everyone, I'm down here taking down black dragons for the Slayer task, right? I've made an awful realization. I was thinking I just needed 77 crafting and I was gonna be hunky-dory, right? That'd give me the ability to make all my red beehive. Unfortunately, a red beehive shield requires a magic shield as the base. The magic shield requires 87 fletching. I have 77. I'm going to have to get basically one and a half times my current experience level in fletching. I don't have that many U logs. How in the world does an Iron Man level up fletching? It's gonna happen. But I was like, oh, well, we're just gonna unlock the next range tier in this episode, because why not? Well, I can tell you right now, that's not gonna happen. And like, I really, really, really don't want to make broad arrows. They are useless to me. And that requires headless arrows, and I don't want to make headless arrows, and then you have to attach the feathers. And like, you know what? It's probably the right move, but I just, I don't want to. Maybe I should get maples from Miscellanea. I did just unlock that in the last episode. So many things to think about, people. So many things to think about. Oh, hey, would you look at that? We got a level up while I was recording. 86 hit points. <gasps> We're combat level 100. Do you see that? Come at level 100. Let's go! This is a bountiful recording. All right, folks, I'm in a new area. You might be asking why I'm here. Well, I got Aberrant Spectres as my most recent Slayer task, right? What do they drop? Herbs. And you say herbs with an H because it has an H in it. But that means I want a herb sack. And what's the best place to get a herb sack after the most recent update? Tithe Farm, baby! I'm gonna plant all the seeds. We're gonna get all the Lagavanos planted and it's gonna be a rip roaring time. And would you look at that? We handed in some more fruits. We got to 80 farming, which apparently gives us absolutely nothing. I thought we got something cool like a dragon fruit seed, but I guess not. However, I am like 1.6 Tithe Farm sets away. Somebody please save me for the, for the love of all that is possible in this land. I am sick and tired of doing Tithe Farm. I'm almost willing to spend 750 Slayer points on a stupid herb sack, and I'm at 193 points right now, okay? I'm going crazy. We're here, folks. We made it to the Abbey Spectres. Look at this inventory. We got prayer potions, which I need to take a sip of. We got a holy wrench. The mystifying, fantastical herb sack. I'm gonna stick so many grimy herbs in there, it's not gonna know what to do with them. This is my first herb sack, by the way. I've never had one of these before. Look at that, grimy land time, right in the sack. I just deposited this herb sack for the first time, and oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that felt so good. Do you see all these herbs that need to be cleaned now? Oh! And here we are, saying hello to Konar. What's our next task gonna be? 153 worms in the Karaloom Slayer Dungeon. Why, how did you know that's exactly what I didn't want? It's fine, it's fine. I still have some dragon knives to get. 
But I just am so sick of the worms. I'm sorry. I just want nothing to do with them. But they're decent money and decent prayer experience. So we will try our best. I would like you all to know, okay, I didn't get the footage of it, but your boy decided to craft the broad arrows. I have 6,511 of them. Correction, 6,512 of them. But I decided that I wanted to test out using a magic short bow with broad arrows versus these worms instead of a bone crossbow and bone bolts. The reason being, the bone crossbow has to be on long range to use the safe spot. See how I'm not getting hit? This worm can't touch me. And because of that, that means the bone crossbow is a five tick weapon versus the magic short bow, which is a four tick. And I feel like even though I deal like three less max damage, it seems like I'm blowing through these worms a lot faster than with the crossbow. And that makes me feel very happy because I am sick and tired. Hello, Smoke Zaza 420. I am sick and tired of these worms. I want this task to be done. I still got 100 left and I'm just over here ending it. But maybe killing them faster is a problem because it distracts me. Whatever, it's fine. We are on the final worm of the task. And I must say, I think the magic short bow was faster than the bone crossbow. Even though I deal less max damage, I feel like I'm actually hitting the worm more often due to the higher accuracy. And just having the four tick over the five tick, it makes so much difference. I don't understand why. I vaguely get it, but it's just so good. By the way, this worm here will be number 1,762. Ooh, dropping some red beehive chaps. But now we shall leave our Karaloom prison. We got a brimstone key in the process. And now we're on the way to go talk to Konar. Konar is going to give us the goods. They're going to give us what we need. And what is that? Honestly, a Karask task. That would be dope right now. I would love to have a Karask. But Konar, what do we get? Oh, 167 blue draggy boys in the Taberly dungeon. That's so much prayer experience and so many blue dragon hides. We have to do it. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely amazing. But what comes out of our brimstone chest? 469 iron ore. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. We'll see what happens next. We may leave off for the Slayer for the rest of the episode. Who knows? I'm still recording and this is a bad habit I need to get out of. But that's okay. Thank you all for watching. If you're liking the video, hit that like button, possibly subscribe. Makes your Chewie a happy boy. I decided to go ahead and do the Blue Dragons task, which is task 159 completed, giving us 18 points. In the process, we also got a range level. We are now 91 range. It's a miracle. We're getting close to having a Slayer level too. 80 Slayer would get us on track for the melee tier. Oh, baby. The next task we're going to be working on is 227 Gargoyles. Let's go. Oh, that's so good. I love doing Gargoyles. They are so much money. Hey, would you look at that? We just got a new collection log. The gargoyles finally dropped us a mystic robe top dark. Wow. Let's see. According to Tracker, I've taken down 384, but I've definitely destroyed more of them because I have a ring of wealth on and I get no drops. Okay, I get coin drops, case in point. But hey, that is another collection log slot for us. Hip hip hooray. You might notice we're in a new location. We're in Evil Dave's basement with all the hell rats. Why are we here, you might ask? Well, 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 if you notice in my inventory, I have two magic logs, which could only mean one thing. We are trying to make a magic shield, but a magic shield requires 87 fletching. Here's a stat check for you. I have 82, technically 80 right now, but it'll go away eventually. So we are trying to do a plus five stew boost up to get 87 fletching to make the magic shield. And then once that has occurred, we will have the ability to then stew boost plus four on crafting for a red dragon hide shield. The red dragon hide shield is the last thing we need to craft in the range tier. We can get this red dragon hide body 
from the crazy archaeologist in the wilderness. Coincidentally, also drops a rune crossbow, so I have to go there anyways. I've already got some chaps and like one level to make some van braces. That's not that bad. But we're getting very close to getting out of range here. In the meantime, I'm going to keep taking down this rat to get some orange spice. I lost my cat. I was too busy working on the video and I lost my cat. So now I have to go get a kitten. I knew it was a possibility. It's my fault for not paying attention. I'm sorry, cat. You lived good luck. We all love the Hellcat for the time they were with us. You can crucify me in the comments. But to amend for my sins, I have adopted a new kitten that also has a little over two hours until it grows up. So we're definitely not getting the magic shield this episode. I know, I know, it's sad affairs. Regardless, thank you all for watching the episode. Thank you for making it this far. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, afternoon, evening, or night. And I'll catch you next episode. Bye for now.